How do you set your drum throne high? Does it even matter? That and why it's extremely vital here in a little bit. Hey everybody, Evan here with The Two Musician where our mission is to help drummers find creative freedom in their drumming and find and keep the motivation to practice drums and to continue getting past those plateaus. So along those notes too, in the description below, there is a free 10 drum hacks guide. It's gonna supercharge your drum chops. I recommend checking it out. Once again, it's free in the description below. So today, how do we know how high our drum throne should be? It's one of those things that when you start drumming, you don't really know. So I wanna go over two really important things that are gonna determine how high your drum throne should be, but I do wanna mention a variable before we get into those. Variables. So we'll get into the two tips, but first the variable. Height's gonna play a big role in how high your drum throne should be, first of all. So I'm 6'5". My drum throne is 24 inches off the ground. And along with my drum throne being 24 inches off the ground, my snare drum is approximately four inches below my belly button. These variables are for me. Obviously, it's gonna be different. If you're shorter, you may have your drum thrown down shorter. If you're taller than me, you're gonna have it taller. I feel the snare drum height and the drum thrown height go hand in hand, so I do wanna mention that. My drum thrown is 24 inches off the ground. I'm 6'5", and my snare drum is approximately, you know, four inches or so below my belly button. So, variables will differ there, but that's a good baseline to start off with. With that variable and with height in mind, one of the first things that we wanna do when we're determining our drum throne height, we want a 90 degree, we want greater than 90 degree, obviously. If you can see my legs here, they're going downward like this. Downward, they're flat on the ground, not on the pedals or anything, and they're down. You know that your drum throne is too low when your legs are sitting and the, and, and the 90 degree is broke. I mean, that's probably, you know, what? 70, 80 degrees or something. I'm also, my knees shouldn't be above my snare drum. So a good baseline, my feet are flat and there's a slant and it goes, here's the snare drum. It's lower than the snare drum on each side of my legs. So that is, with that being said, we wanna put our feet on the pedals however you're gonna be playing it. My feet are on the pedals and my legs are still angled downward. So good, good base rule there. If, you, if your legs are angled when you have them flat on the ground and then you put them on the pedal and they're not angled anymore, you may, you may still be too low. So try that first. Greater than 90 degrees you want, that's a good baseline. So the second tip really here is positioning your body in a way where it makes sense logistically. When we play the drums, the snare drum is our center focus point, basically. I mean, we're always coming back to the snare. Everyone loves the snare drum, arguably more than any of the other drums, really. I mean, the kick drum's awesome. Obviously, the cymbals are and the toms. They all play together. This role, a family role, but the snare drum. So we have to logistically make sense here when we drum along with logistically making sense and being close enough to my snare drum, but you know, not like a sardine way up here or like a slob way back here because both those are just gonna hurt your back. So I am, I am sitting on the edge. I usually like to sit like closer to the edge or a little bit, you know, I don't sit directly in the middle of my drum throne. I feel like this is a common theme among drummers is if you get too much centered on the drum throne, it's kind of like makes you slouch a little bit. And it's not, you know, not everybody does, but it's, it keeps you a little more alert when you're on the edge of the snare drum and you're more aware, or you can be more aware of your posture, which is also something that you should take into consideration. So logistics, posture, and then also making sure you're comfortable where the snare drum is. And then along with that, you have your hi-hats and your kick drum. So if I'm going between my kick 
and then I go over to my hi-hat, there's not a lot of movement, there's not a lot of twisting and turning there. So, that's pretty much it. This is a shorter video. So take into consideration your height. I am six foot five. My drum throws 24 inches off the ground. Once again, snare drum is about five inches, four, four inches below my belly button. Angled legs while on the pedal. Angled legs. Uh, feet on the ground, it's angled. You put them on the pedal, it's still angled. Everything, the snare drum is our center focus point here. And then you wanna make sure that you're comfortable. You're not a sardine, you're not a slob, but you're comfortable, you're sitting up straight and you're on the edge of your drum throne. So with that being said, that's how you set your drum throne height. So if you haven't already, I appreciate you watching this. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every single time we upload a video here at A Tune Musician. Hit the like button and the share button if you found this video helpful whatsoever. But I just want to thank you once again for viewing this. If you haven't already, also check out the free guide, 10 Drum Hacks, in the description below. Once again, those are free, and they're going to help you and your drum chops, and you're going to be better because of it. So until next time, stay tuned.